Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and guess what? We are back at it again with another action figure review! This time, it's Throwback Thursday. Technically, it's Monday, but it's Throwback Thursday, and we're going to take a look at this magnificent masterpiece right here, guys. Okay, um, before we get into this video, um, I want to give a shout out to Custom Comics. Uh, I first seen this guy, well actually I seen this guy before, but I didn't really see a review of him until he actually did a review, and I thought to myself, man, that guy looks really, really awesome, and, uh, being that I'm a big Spawn collector, I, uh, I was searching the internet one day, I wasn't searching for this guy, but I came across him, uh, for a really, 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 really cheap price, and decided I wanted to pick him up because I thought he was really, really cool. Now, essentially, he is just a statue. Let me bring my camera down because he's a pretty, not small figure, but he's crouching. Um, and uh, essentially, this is a statue. This is, I believe, from the 90s. Um, the year on this one, I'm not really for sure. If you guys know out there, let me know. I'm pretty sure he's from the... Uh, late 90s, early 2000s, um, and he is essentially a statue. He is a McFarlane figure. Uh, right now, McFarlane is kind of making a, well, not really making a comeback, but, uh, you know, he's uh, producing a lot of uh, um, newer figures, most n more most noticeable uh, Fortnite. You know, he's been, uh, McFarlane has been covering a lot of the video game action figures from Metal Gear Solid to Halo to... Uh, Destiny to all these other video game uh, uh, characters. Um, so that's kind of what he's focused on now. I think he just recently took over the DC license and, you know, hopefully he can do something with the DC license because, you know, a lot of these DC figures, whether the whether they be from Mattel or just DC in general, they, they really haven't been doing a great job on a lot of these Batman figures. So Hopefully McFarlane can take over the license and do a really, really good job as far as, uh, excuse me, as far as the DC Universe is concerned. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at this character right here. This is, I think that I already bring this up, the Curse 2. This is from the Art of Spawn. Now, I'm pretty sure this cape, yeah, it does, it is removable. Uh, you can take this, man, this big hunk of cape off. Look at this, man. <laughs> this thing is heavy too. Uh, very nicely sculpted cape. Very nicely done. Very, very, very beautiful cape. It's kind of like a hard plastic rubber, flexible rubber plastic. So there's the cape right here. So here is the curse without the cape and he looks kind of naked. Uh, essentially this guy is a statue. If you guys are accustomed to watching my channel and watching a lot of the spawn reviews I do, uh, I've coined the phrase articulated statues. Essentially that's what they are. Um, I think he might be missing a piece, uh, a few pieces. I'm not for sure. If you guys know, let me know. I know he comes with a couple of minions. I only have one minion. When I bought him, I bought him loose. Uh, so, uh, the person that I bought it from only gave me one of his little minions. But we'll do a closer look up of him first, but we'll take a look at a closer version of this curse right here. And one thing I love about McFarlane is just the details on this figure. I mean, uh, he was doing this way before everybody else was, you know, McFarlane, in my opinion, is one of the reasons why a lot of action figures, a lot of these cool action figures exist to this day. Uh, are being created by this t to this day. I mean, if you look at Hot Toys, uh, Prime One Studios, um, if I'm leaving somebody else, uh, let me know. But uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people took after McFarlane and decided, hey, let's make some cool toys and people that would actually buy these cool toys and be interested in, in, in purchasing these cool toys and spending three, four, five hundred dollars on these toys, these action figures, which is crazy to me because I've never bought an, a three hundred dollar action figure. And I don't think I plan on to unless I become a, you know, hit the lottery. Um, <laughs> if I if I hit the lottery, I'm buying I'm buying every action figure that I've ever wanted. <laughs> That's that would be my main my main goal is to go on a shopping spree and buy all the action figures that I want. 
And there are a lot of action figures out there that I do want. But anyways, enough about that. Let's focus on uh, the curse right here. The curse 2, as far as the articulation is concerned, his arm just goes up and down. It's kind of like a, a saw. This blade right here moves. He has a saw for a blade. I don't know the story of the curse, guys. If you know the story, leave it in the comments. I'm always uh, anxious or interested. Anxious. I'm always interested to know a little bit more about the figures that I collect, especially a lot of these spawn fi uh, figures uh, because not too many uh, people know about the story of uh, a lot of these figures because they don't get, you know, the the highlight. They're, they're not put on the highlight reel like a lot of these Marvel figures, you know, that we're accustomed to collecting. Uh, here at the waist, he does have a break here at the uh, waist. Um, nothing at the arm right here. Head, swivel. Um, and then he has a break right here at the knee. Um, he has uh, somewhat of a swivel here, but I'm not going to go crazy. Because with a lot of these older McFarlane figures, they tend to break very very easily but this guy is pretty sturdy i have to admit he's a pretty pretty solid figure i'm showing you guys the detail of this figure you know and a lot of these mcfarland figures are you know lost treasures man they a lot of people have forgotten about a lot of these figures and oh yeah his hand his wrist rotates as well and and they you know because they're not as popular as mcfar uh, excuse me marvel you know a lot of people uh, have overlooked a lot of these figures and you know they they don't care <laughs> they essentially don't care for a lot of these figures um, simply because they don't know nothing of them but I love collecting them because they have some amazing detail so let me go into a further uh, detail look of this figure guys and uh, he is really 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 nice I have to admit uh, they did an amazing job with this curse it took me a while to review this figure because he's kind of been in my uh, my pile of action figures that have yet to be reviewed. I think I have about 30 to 40 action figures, old school action figures that I have yet to review that I'm going to do. A lot of them are McFarlane figures. A lot of them are, you know, older action figures from the day, from back in the day, from my time, from the ancient prehistoric times of the 90s. Okay, so let's put his cape back on. Let's see. <laughs> I love this cape, guys. Um, so he kind of stands like so. Let me bring my camera down. And the cape kind of stands in between his legs and kind of acts like a... Well, his cape kind of acts like a, a third leg, so to speak, to where you can get him to in a, in a nice pose, an awesome uh, uh, thrusting pose. Did I say thrusting? <laughs> <laughs> thrusting pose or charging pose or grimacing pose however you however you prefer uh how, however you you know want to name this pose i have no idea okay so let's take a look at uh this little minion right here he's pretty pretty cool looking guys as i have to admit um there is no artic oh yeah there is a articulation right here with his hand that's about the only thing uh articulated with this figure his his head doesn't turn no joints turn nothing really turns just his head hand turns like so he kind of looks like the critter from critters like one of the critters <laughs> very 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 cool figure guys too bad i don't have the other one but you know, I essentially I just wanted this guy and I got him for cheap and that's why I bought him. So here is, and I don't know how well he stands either, so he doesn't really stand all that great. We'll take him out the picture for now. Okay guys, so we'll focus a little bit more on the curse too. So let me give you my rating of this curse, man. As far as a nice display piece, he's a beautiful display piece. If you guys collect uh, spawn figures, He'll go nicely in your collection. If you don't, then um, then I guess you're not missing anything. If you don't collect spawn figures, then this is probably not is really your thing. But if you're if you like cool, creepy stuff like this that is highly detailed, then I highly recommend this. Uh, not action figure. I can't call it action figure. I highly recommend this art piece. Should I say? Because it is the art of spawn, right? So overall. 
a nice statue, a nice display piece for a figure that not too many people know much about unless you're a true, true, true Spawn fan and you collect Spawn figures. Overall, a nice piece, guys. So let me measure this uh, uh, curse. Let me measure this curse for you. And I'll give you my rating and let you know how I feel about this curse of spawn. Curse curse of the curse of the spawn? No, he's just cursed. He's just the curse. The curse too. So he stands at about just a little under six inches going all the way up to his hat. Uh, wide. Uh, he's about seven inches wide. Going all the way to the tip of his cape. So guys, um, it's a piece of n nostalgia, man. It's a, a action figure that not too many people know about. And I really, really like the way he looks. I like the face sculpt. I like the cape. I like the detail. I like the armor. I like everything about this figure, man. He's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And he's a awesome piece to add to your collection. If you want something different and unique in your collection, I highly, highly recommend this piece, guys. Okay, so um, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, um, I'm grading him on an articulated statue platform, not an action figure review. So for that alone, guys, I'm going to give him an 8. I'm going to give him a solid 8. You know, if you like collecting action figures, not, excuse me, uh, cool statues, then you'll probably like this guy. And he's a nice size, too, so he's not going to take up a lot of room on your shelf. But I highly, highly recommend this piece, man, because he is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting and pretty unique. So tell me what you guys think of this uh, throwback Thursday uh, figure. Um, the Curse to the Art of Spawn. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. Do you guys collect Spawn figures? Do you like them? Um, would you consider picking them up if you can find them for a cheap price? And you can find a lot of these Spawn figures for a cheap price, man. So I do highly recommend this piece um, for those who don't collect Spawn figures as well because, you know, you put him with, in your collection, he doesn't, you know... You wouldn't think he would be a part of Spawn because he doesn't fit that format as far as Spawn. Other than if you look at the cape, if his cape was red, then maybe he would fall into that category. But he's uh, a figure, or excuse me, a character unto himself. Okay, guys, so we'll leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of this little miniature statue, guys. Do you like him? What are your thoughts in the comments? Leave some positive energy. I need some positive energy today. So, we'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And there you guys have it. I just want to thank you guys for watching. And guess what? I'll catch you guys later. Bye!